Members of the 102nd Intelligence Wing, welcome to October Drill. I'm Colonel Wendy Armijo, proud commander of the 202nd Intelligence Surveillance and Reconnaissance Group. I'm especially pleased to speak to you today because this afternoon the 202nd will, at long last, hold a ribbon-cutting ceremony to mark the official opening of our operations facility in Building 165. This is a big deal. After over seven years since the stand-up of our mission, the 202nd has reached full operational capability. With two separate operations floors to house the 203rd and the 267 intelligence squadrons respectively, and sufficient space for the 202nd intelligence support squadron to provide both expert system support and conduct the rigorous training our analysts require to perform intelligence in the cyber domain, this building allows our analysts to maximize intelligence production capability, facilitates collaboration for mission success, increases unit cohesion, and positions the 202nd to be the premier signals intelligence unit in the Air National Guard. Fun facts. Building 165 has been home now to three operations groups. It was originally constructed to house the F-15 mission in 1988. Then it was modified for the 102nd Air Operations Group aligned with the 608th Air Operations Center and Strategic Command. And now 165 is optimized for the 202nd's Cyber ISR mission. Fun fact number two. Building 165 was in the thick of renovation during the COVID-19 pandemic. And due to lack of outside expertise, and because contractors and product delivery were delayed, our own cyber technicians in the 202nd Intelligence Support Squadron procured nearly $250,000 of communications products and designed and engineered the layout for the entire secure facility. They completed wire runs and finished equipment layout to which the contractors applauded our folks for their outstanding design capability and attention to detail. Fun fact number three, from 55 workstations in the initial operations skiff in the 158 hangar to the 120 workstations we have now, moving into building 165 has more than doubled our production capability and exponentially improved our ability to support our mission partners and to be ready for the high-end fight. I want to thank the senior leaders of the Massachusetts Air National Guard, past adjutant generals and wing commanders who, more than a decade ago, had the foresight to recognize that the cyber domain would be pivotal in future conflicts. They took a risk in offering the Air Operations Group as an offset for us to gain our mission. Despite the fact that mission conversion would mean yet another shakeup in the wing and instigate another round of cross-training and new accessions. Their vision ensured that the Massachusetts Air National Guard and the 102nd Intelligence Wing remains relevant, leading the Air National Guard intelligence enterprise to meet warfighting requirements. I also want to thank the many sister units within the wing, civil engineering, contracting, calm and force support. From air conditioning to audiovisual equipment, we continue to rely on your assistance for mission success. Certainly, we couldn't have reached full operational capability without your support. And finally, to the members of the 202nd ISR group, thank you for your perseverance, your patience, your diligence, and your continued hard work. Let this afternoon's ribbon cutting ceremony be a tribute to the outstanding intelligence analysis you've conducted in our brief history as an intelligence unit. And let it be a glimpse into the future contributions you'll make to national security. This is your home and you will mark yet another milestone in the distinguished legacy of the 102nd Intelligence Wing.